Southern Pomerol, we have just under 800 hectares of vines planted. Um, very small plot holdings, all the chateaus are tiny, very much in a Santamillion style, very different from the Medoc, uh, the large estates that we find in the Medoc. Here it has very much a Burgundian feel to it. You feel that you could sit around the kitchen table with the winemaker drinking his wines. To the north we have the stream of Barban. Over that we go into the appellation of Laland Pomerol. Over to the east we have the town of Santamillion and to the south we have the city of Libourne. So, in this area we have an awful lot of clay, we have a lot of ironstone, we have sand and some gravel. Um, the majority of people plant in very high proportions of Merlot. The wines tend to be very elegant, very perfumed, quite exotic spices in the styles of wine, sometimes flavours of dark cherries and sometimes flavours of raspberries. So here we are at Chateau Petrus in Pomerol. Uh, Without doubt, one of the most famous wines in the world and most definitely one of the most expensive wines in the world. So an 11 and a half hectare property based right in the centre of Pomerol, really on the best terroir in Pomerol. In the centre of the Appalachian, at its highest point, is a large button of thick, heavy clay. This becomes very waterlogged during damp conditions and helps keep the soils wet and cold. And in this area, it's perfect for growing great quality Merlot. The vineyard was nearly doubled in size in 1969 when they bought vineyards from their neighbour Chateau Gazan. With only 4,500 cases produced annually, it's a tiny amount and with no second wine, all the wine that goes onto the market is pure Petrus. So originally owned by Madame Lubat who owned the Lubat Hotel in the centre of Libourne and really started to get its reputation from the early days when a lot of the English wine trade used to go and stay there in Libourne and she used to give them Petrus to try. Um, partially sold to Jean-Pierre Mouex and his, his family in 1961 and 100% secured by them in 2002. Now it's run by his son Christian Mouex, a fantastic winemaker and some of the characteristics of Petrus are it's, he always is one of the first people to pick his Merlot in Pomerol. The style of his wines he likes to make are very elegant, lots of finesse, more on the sort of refined and delicate style than on the powerful and heavy style. So he likes to touch them, pick them with just a touch of greenness to them to give them that bit of edge, bit of sharp tannin. Um, delicious wines, incredible mouthfeel, incredible length and incredible price. We're over on the far southwestern side of Pomerol, just for close to the border with Libourne. Um, we're well away from the opposite side where Petrus is and that clay button, and now we're down into the soils. And when we look at the colour of these soils, we can really see they have a, a quite a brown, reddish hue to them. And that's really down to the amount of ironstone that we find in these soils. Also starting to get a lot of bits and pieces of limestone and also that very familiar Pomerol clay. So here we are at Le Pain. Pan literally translates as the pine um, and that refers to the pine tree at the front of the property here. This is the brand new winemaking facilities and barrel storage area. Before, before this was constructed it was a very very simple farmhouse, um, very nondescript, but Le Pan goes to make one of the best and one of the most expensive wines in the world. So it was kind of started from 1979 onward from Jacques Tiempon who's part of the Tiempon family who owns Vieux Chateau Certain, just a couple of hundred yards away from us there. So he started to make, it's just over a two hectare property here, and really this became his pet project, and this was something that he could manage everything himself. So he was picking the grapes, he was picking the best grapes, he was hand sorting them, he was doing all the crushing, he was doing all the fermentation for himself in top quality new casks. Maybe in the old Garys that was here, you'd go in there, there might be five to eight barrels, and that was it. So first vintage 1979, after that things like the 89, the 90 started selling for astronomical prices and really became quite a legend in the wine world with Le Pain. As with all good quality red Bordeaux, the best food to match with these should be kept quite simple. You really want to let the wine be the star of the meal. So serve them with simple roasted meats such as beef or lamb and light jus based sauces. The 1947 vintage was a legend over on the right bank and of recent note was the 1998, which was far more successful than the same year in the Medoc, really due to the early ripening Merlot. And following on from that, the 2000 vintage, the 2005 and 2010.